My best friends in elementary school were Herbert Hufenagel and Steve Richardson. Behind our school, there was a deserted orchard. We lived in a fairly fast-growing area of Toronto, and probably some property developer had bought the area but just wasn't developing it yet. And so the orchard sat there unattended and uncared for, but the trees were still producing fruit. There was so much a couple of guys could do out there, hiking and playing and just hanging out. And one summer, while we were out there, we discovered the pears were approaching some degree of ripeness. They were still pretty hard. They were still pretty green, but there was a hint of color. We tasted them, and they were still pretty sour, but still pretty good. I knew better than stuffing myself on fairly green pears, but they tasted pretty good. Herbert and I, or Steve and I, or all three of us, I forget who was with me, sat up in the branches of the pear trees eating pears. Lots of pears. I knew better. Much later, I headed home not feeling fully well. Pretty soon, my stomach was in turmoil. I told my mom what had happened, and she wasn't terribly sympathetic. I wanted the pears, but I knew eating so many, especially fairly green ones, wasn't wise. But peer pressure, they were eating them. Or just living in the moment, they tasted good now, meant that I reaped the consequences. I got what I wanted, but it wasn't what I wanted. Our message Sunday will look at a similar situation, but vastly more consequential in the history of Israel. The people of Israel wanted to be like the other nations. They had kings. We want a king. Samuel, their current leader, assures them that this isn't a good idea. Kings would exploit them. Kings would tax them. Besides which, they already had a king. God was their king, and God was a good king. But they refused to listen. Give us a king. And finally, Samuel gives them a king. And the history of Israel takes a turn in a whole new direction. I hope you'll join us on Sunday as we look at this story in more detail and why sometimes getting what we want isn't what we want. And what do we do then? I hope to see you on Sunday, and thanks for joining me for VChat today. Bye.